I remember doing a demo with Lance and Tommy. Uh, I was in the Midwest. It was snowing. I think it was in Colorado. <laughs> and the guy's all, so you're going to skate, right? I'm like, dude, it's snowing right now. We had a launch ramp. And we bring it out, and it was snowing. I swear, we were flying off the, the ramp. There was like tracks of wheels flying off, right? <laughs> we're doing, you know, street plants. We, we, I mean, we tried to do the best demo we could. And after the demo, the, the shop owner was like, yeah, I wish the demo was a little bit better, you know? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> we just jump ramped in the snow. <laughs> You rode for Airspeed, right? Yes. Do you sell a shit ton of shoes? Those Was it a Walmart chain or a Target chain? Or uh, unfortunately, it was Walmart. Okay, but, but do you <laughs> sell like you know what? Listen, shit listen. Tons when of that shoes? listen, no I judgment. Was, I was listen. I, I have my shop. I'm just trying to make a living. Yeah. And I, this guy that used to sponsor me with uh, Airwalk said, "Hey, I got this idea. I want to make some shoes and." They're just going to be cheaper for kids to afford because you know nobody can afford the shoes right yeah. now and blah 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 blah. And so I I did some designing of the shoes and you know we sold a ton of shoes. And like on my Facebook, I was getting all these requests. Oh, Mike, it's great to see you because they did some ads in mm -hmm. Trans World and whatever. Yeah, yeah, I remember. It's great to see you. I'm sorry about you have to be in Walmart. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, why are these kids feeling bad for me? You know, like. I probably wow. sold more shoes than anybody sold in the world. That's what I was wondering. Like, so that, I was wondering if you sold more years. shoes than him, if you sold more shoes than him, even because of Walmart I, distribution. A lot. All I know is I got a giant shoe with the first million they made. Million <laughs> pairs. Wow. <laughs> so we had this debate on like the three big shoes that we think are. I didn't even think of the Airspeed one. He came up with that, and I, I yeah. now that it all makes sense. But the cab. The Janowski's absolutely gone nuts from now, but you've That's been awesome. around. Your longevity of the cab supersedes everything else, I believe. <clears throat> and this 2017 will be the 25th anniversary of the half cab. Wow. That's a lot of shoes. So, like, it's got to be, like, the half cab, the Janowski, and the McGill? Anyway, I don't think I've ever really <laughs> told anybody that because I was just, I was kind of keeping it to myself. <laughs> No, but that's great. Inside. No, but I just think it's it's like a phenomenal like low key thing is like people sort of whether they wanted to hate on it or they just dismissed it as not real or whatever. But yeah. you've sold more shoes, pro shoes than most people. <laughs> yeah, I think so. So what's it like? like every couple of years, you guys, it seems like I'm thinking to this chin ramp project that just happened. What's it like every few years? You guys seem to be brought together for these amazing projects, whether it's the documentary or the the Chin Ramp remake. No, they're always a reunion, you know, yeah. even like, you know, we got together for Chin a few weeks ago and mm -hmm. it was like nothing ever happened really. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure people look a little different, skate a little different, <laughs> not much, but you know, for these guys to all, you know, still skate and, and uh, still have the passion for it, it's, it's amazing. And right now all these people keep texting me from all over that are seeing some of this chin stuff of us skating from 30 years ago and then skating now a few weeks ago. And they're like, how, we don't quite understand. Are you, were you guys lying about your age? What, like what? <laughs> <laughs> so it's, 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 uh, it's humbling and exciting. And What uh, blew me away was seeing Lance Mountain ride a ramp because he refuses to skate for yeah. ramps for years. I couldn't get him on a vert ramp. And the fact that, you know, having the, the chin ramp built again and actually watching him skate a ramp was, was pretty cool. That was a highlight for me, you That's know? Because, like, he's got a niche that he likes. It's backyard pools yeah. and, and skating pools, carving and everything, and lines. And, uh, and for years, it's like, hey, you want to come do this demo or skate this ramp thing? It's like, nope, I'm not having it. <laughs> nope. You know, so I was like, I was like well, but he's good. Why, cool. why? I have no idea. I mean, people have the reasons why they don't want to skate a certain yeah. way. But um, it was cool that he just kind of let that go and participated. And I think he could be more creative in a bowl for his mentality. You know how he always gets weird, wacky in these mm -hmm. corners that no one hits? I think he likes that aspect of more, here's a flat wall, here's a flat wall, here's what you're limited to. Yeah. And you can get as creative as you want on that flat wall, but there's no corner pockets, there's no stairwells to go over, death box to go over, and stuff like that. I don't know. 
Well, chin ramps got a lot of obstacles. <laughs> that, yeah. That's an exception. Like, there's an <laughs> obstacle everywhere you look. Mm -hmm. you Actually, know? so too many obstacles, right, <laughs> Steve? Like, you can't you can't skate the chin ramp without hitting something. You're like, whoa, yeah. wait a minute. There's a there's an incline. There's a channel. There's an extension. There's a spot. Oh, you know, you gotta kind of have a little plan. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything you guys had to change because of age and your body just doesn't work the same way as it did back then? Well, oh, you mean for us? <laughs> yeah. yeah like, you so, mean so to do, say, do, do I mean, not to throw yourself in the, under the bus, but like, so say someone's older and they can't go high as they used to do or, or couldn't do something. That, I had to make sure I, I could still do an invert because it's really hard to bend over these days. You know, I'm not very know, limber. I've seen you do them for some pretty do epic can, well, Yeah. Yeah, but... Um, there's some tricks I can't do because I'm not limber, right. and I'm kicking myself in the butt for not stretching right. my, my whole life. And like, there's a lot of tricks that I can't do that I wish I could do if I put the work in and stretched years ago. Right. So now I'm paying the price. So if there was any kind of advice I would give skaters mm -hmm. if they want to skate in their 50s is stretch. <laughs> But yeah, stretching, yeah. man. That's that's one key if you want longevity. And you guys have both lived sport. super healthy lifestyle. Well, not super healthy, but you guys <laughs> have never been addicts of drugs. Or no, no, or I don't whatever. think either. Well, you yeah. know, that was a long time ago. When we maybe we were single. We would go out and drink. I mean, Part that's what you did, right? To get your yeah. liquid courage. Or, that's yeah. You guys have had an extreme version of of being on the road for so many years, and maybe people throwing it at you or offering or thinking like, oh, you guys are the guys on tour, you, you want to party. Like how many times have you been <laughs> Believe me, you guys I'm not the guy. Well, no, I mean, I've smoked pot, you know? Yeah. I've smoked hash with McGill. What? <laughs> hey, that's a perfect segue to my next question. <laughs> no, listen. Can you, no, can I, you I, tell us? Sorry, Mike. <laughs> it wasn't me. There you go. Hey. You never no, be president But now. check it out. <laughs> I mean, there, there would be people, we'd go on tour, and in the 80s, man, you could get drugs easy. Right. No, we I had did, stickers. I did Wait. They would give us, like, hey, you want some pot? Just give us some stickers, yeah. man. Okay. All right, how much pot you got? Okay, I'll give you a couple stickers. <laughs> wow. I mean, it was so easy. I Imagine. didn't inhale. Stuff. I didn't inhale. <laughs> but you lost McTwist? Did, you know, that can was uh, a uh, Tommy tell and that Lance's story. story. <laughs> Because uh, well, he right. perfectly I opened the door for me <laughs> yeah, to ask right. this question. It was a, the last it was a coke can, <laughs> little, little pipe. <laughs> I don't know. Well, we were, in, we were in Amsterdam because that's what you do in Amsterdam, yeah. right? Yeah. And um, yeah, our chaperone, Todd Hashtings, we called him. He was like, Miguel, let me have your board. We were in another country now. I was like, why? He starts taking apart my board. And then we had like half inch like cell blocks, you know? Yeah. yeah. Takes it apart, gets his hash out of it and puts it back together. I was like, are you? I, I was his, uh, his mule. His mule. His truck mule. I was like, are you out of your mind? You're supposed to be our chaperone, you know? We're, uh, so then tell me the story about how you oh, thought you right. lost McTwist. Thought I got out of it. No, 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 not um, me. <laughs> so I was, like, uh, all right. I was asking anyway. I was, was going to ask anyway. Don't worry about I, it. I was like, you know, all these guys, they had some locals there, and I guess it was pretty common around those parts yeah, to say. Yeah, totally. So anyway, we were in the rooms, and these guys were like, oh, have some. You know, I'm like, nah, you know, I'm good. It, it doesn't work on me anyway because I'm like, <laughs> I've tried it before, you know. And, and I kind of did before. But, and uh, I was in there, and I was just wondering. I was like, yeah, see, nothing happens to me. And I, I told you, you know, I just wanted yeah. to show them that oh, I'm not afraid to try it or whatever, but, you know, when in Rome, right? Yeah. Cap, is it, am I doing it right? Am I doing it right, Cap? Shut no, up. you gotta take another one, dude. Yeah, I don't think you inhaled that time. So I must have, I don't know, I must have, I must have taken way too much. And uh, I guess I was talking a lot. And then I think I, I remember asking Steve, like, how. How can, no soy. how can a soy skate like this? I can't even <laughs> manage to get off the bed. And it was we twisting and rolling. He had a sticker. He was taking a sticker apart. He couldn't put the sticker back together. Ah. He said, I know if I wasn't stoned, I could put the sticker back. Or stone. <laughs> so at the next demo, I, I couldn't do the twist. And I think it was time. I was like, dude, it's because you, you lost him. And you're going to have to. I was like, shut up. You know, I, him, I was convinced him. that this, I wrecked my whole career. <laughs> I wrecked the twist. I can't. But. When was the next McTwist after you thought you lost them? A couple days? Oh, okay. Then yeah. you felt good? Yeah, I was good. All out of the system. Did you tell everybody? <laughs> I've been cold it. turkey since then. Never, never touched it. That's right. That's right. I'm not touching it.